All right, so the next thing we want to talk about are the preferences. So to access the preferences, we're going to go ahead and hit the actions icon, and then we're going to go over to the preferences menu, which looks like this little switch button. Um, it's the second to the last one in between video and help. We're going to tap on that, and it's going to bring up this menu. Now, these are just things that, uh, like it says, are preferences for how you want Procreate to work. So the first one is going to be light interface. What that means is if we turn that on, it's going to give us a light interface instead of a dark interface. Now this is once again totally personal preference. I like having a dark interface because I feel like it helps me get more accurate values than having everything be so bright. When everything's so bright, it can tend to make everything else feel really dark in comparison. But once again, totally a personal preference. So we can turn that back off. The next one is right hand interface. Now. I'm left-handed, which means when I'm drawing, I'm using my left hand on the stylus, and I want my right hand to be able to access my sliders so I don't have to pick up my pencil and move all the way over there. So if you turn that on and off, that will switch your sliders that change opacity uh, as well as size to the right or left-hand side of the screen. Next one is brush cursor. What this does is it makes it so that uh, you might have noticed, I'll show you really quick, that when I'm painting here, um, if I'm painting with something that has a, you can especially notice on something with a big brush size, but you'll see that it kind of makes this little outline around my brush um, where I draw. And if we use a lighter color, it'll probably be easier to see, but you can kind of see that little tiny outline around wherever my brush is. If you zoom in, you can see it a lot better, right? That's how you turn that on and off. Now, if you're just drawing for yourself, you probably don't need it. But since I'm doing a video for you guys, it makes it a lot easier to see where I'm drawing when I have that on and off. So you can see if we turn it off, do the same thing. It's just gonna paint. It's not gonna show the outline uh, of our cursor, okay? So we're gonna turn that back on. AirPlay Canvas, I don't have anything hooked up right now, but if you turn that on, if you have like Apple TV uh, or you wanna AirPlay it to your Mac, you can actually make it so that the screen is being projected up onto a TV or some other service compatible with AirPlay. Um, under those things we have uh, rapid undo delay, which means how long it takes for things to undo when you use the undo gesture. Quick line delay, we already went over that a little bit, but that's uh, how long it takes for a line to snap to a quick line once you stop moving. Auto hide interface is if you want to, um, it'll automatically hide uh, the stuff around the screen, uh, all the interface stuff while you're working. Uh, if you have that turned on after a certain amount of time, I don't use it because I like my interface and it doesn't really take up a lot of space. And then selection mask visibility is going to be for uh, how opaque or transparent your selection mask is when you're looking at it in the layers menu. And so I just leave it at the default 25%. The other three items are things we'll go over separately, but that's it for preferences. And I'll see you guys in the next lecture.